Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt. I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to learn how to connect a 5-Stream 3 to a 20-liter tank. Now in this case we've got a 5-Stream 3 which is an 8-liter power system or the 4-liter by distill is going to be the same size or the 5-Stream 3 4-liter power system which is about half the size. It's only a single boiler. Still has the same type of connections as far as your condenser to your tank and also your float switch. Now what you get with the tank, with the still, is going to be the float switch. This is a magnetic float, it's a magnet inside, and there's two reed switches in here. And we're going to connect it to the tank, the lid of the tank. There's a bottom clip that you remove. Save that because you're going to need that. Take the float off, but make sure you look at the orientation. There's lettering at the top. That has to stay at the top when you put that back on. So make sure you put that back on the right way. This then goes through the top of the lid. We'll have to remove the bulkhead nut that holds this in place. Put our O-ring over that, down over the threads. That's just in case you have an overflow. The tank does have an overflow, which is right here. The seal helps that to seal up so it doesn't go anywhere out, outside of that overflow if it does happen to go over and then it still doesn't shut off. So now we're going to take our nut and tighten it down onto our bulkhead. So you have that tight. You don't really need any kind of a wrench to tighten that down with just hand tight. Then make sure our lettering is at the top and then our clip Goes back on the bottom spacer. So this is our position for our float when it's empty. This is the position when it's full. It's going to shut the still off. Now we're going to drop that down inside the tank. Thread that into place. Once you have that tight, we can connect up the float switch over to the side of our still. It's a four pin connector. You just have that there's a certain locator on here. You just locate that on the top. That slides in place. Then it locks so it can't be removed. Then you just would twist this to take the lock off and then pull that back off of there. So now we've got our float switch connected. Next thing we want to do is the still comes with a glass elbow and a T because we're going to have both of these condensers feeding directly to the still or to the tank. So we're going to remove the door by pulling up on the door, pull out on the bottom, drop that down, set this aside. We're going to need that again. The glass elbow goes up inside this red cap. There's a seal. This just slides up inside that seal. And this is just hand tight. This does the same thing. Slides up inside that seal. And those two are in place so the water from the condenser on the left hand side is going to feed over then come over this way. And the water from the condenser on the right hand side will feed into this T and then over. Next thing we're going to connect will be our distillate tube. Now our tubing is going to connect up to the port in the front, the straight port in the front that goes straight up. And we're going to connect our distal tubing into that. And as you notice when we have this tubing coming out, it's not sagging, going all the way down and back up. There's no loops or drops in it. That has to come straight down, gravity feed from the condenser level down to the tank. Because again, water will not flow uphill. Push that down on there until it's all the way down and nice and tight. Next thing is we have piece of tubing. This is going to go to our atmospheric drain. Connects onto this elbow at the back. Just simply slide that up the elbow until it's all the way up. 
to the end. And then this would attach or get connected to an atmospheric drain, drop it into a sink that's nearby, but it has to be an atmospheric drain. In case this overflows, water's gonna come out of this, go to your sink and not all over your floor. But the float switch is set up so that it will turn the still off when it's full, turns the still back on when it's about half full. So it has an automatic control for the still. Okay, now that we have everything connected, our water's connected, our distillate's connected to the tank, or overflow, our float switch, we're ready to operate the system. But before you do that, you always want to make sure that you get the door, put the door back in place. You just simply take the door, slide it up into the top, slot up top here, then there's a slot down at the bottom, you slide that in, your door's in place, you're ready to operate the still. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.